Hello, everyone. My name is Tom Passero, and I'd like to welcome you to the Summer Business 211 Contemporary Customer Service Web Course. The purpose of this video is to introduce myself, go through the syllabus, take a tour of Blackboard and the main assignments that you have, as well as spend some time on your first BCSS Question 1 semester long case assignment. So first of all, I really, like I'm sure most of you do, have a passion for customer service. And since you've gotten to this video, you've hopefully read the announcement that I have on the board here. I not only like to give it and receive it, but I also teach it. And I've been involved in many different workshops uh, put together for colleges, businesses, and certain uh, municipal and government institutions. And what I like to do during the semester is expose you to some of the things that I use as activities, and I hopefully you're going to enjoy them. So as you're looking at the assignment, excuse me, the first announcement, you'll see you have some basic information. And of course, hopefully you are going to get the book because you need it. The information there, customer service, sixth edition by Paul Tim. He hasn't put out a new edition, but the concepts are consistent no matter uh, when the book was published. So you'll need that because you have to, you have quizzes, you have assignments that are taken directly from the, the text. It's a web course. And for those of you that have had experience with web courses, you know that it is major uh, importance of you to self-direct yourself. You need discipline to get the assignments done because you don't have a teacher on your back uh, as you would in a classroom environment. And I'm that way. I give you directions, I give you guidance, but it's up to you to do the work. But hopefully you'll have no problems. You did find this video, so you must have scrolled down to the Start Here link. That's where you're at. Uh, one thing that I'm going to go through a couple times is this semester long case, Building a Customer Service Strategy. As a repeat, toward the end of this video is that your first assignment, BCS question one, is due on June 26th. At that time, you will have chosen and incorporated in your assignment a document the organization that you're going to choose. And I have details up here. One where you are employed, perhaps, maybe not. One in which you have an interest, local that you know somebody that works there could be a lot of different reasons why you choose the organization but it's important that you have access to the organization at least a little bit in terms of uh, what they do with customer service because you're going to be entering interviewing a person from that organization now that's not due until mid-july but you need to get started on it very very soon in order to not only choose the organization, but choose someone in an organization you can speak with and interview. More about that later on. Okay. So when you're in Blackboard, one of the first things you should be doing, and we'll come back to Blackboard here in a second, is go to the syllabus screen and then download your syllabus for the course. And that's what we're going to get to right now. So the course syllabus, as most of you have seen before, has all kind of information on it. Very important, I might add. But let me just go through it briefly because I want to spend more time with the assignments. So a little bit about the course class description, a little bit about me, at least in terms of how to get a hold of me. The best way to get a hold of me is email, thomas underscore passero at owens.edu. Therefore, 
if you do that, uh, I usually will respond within uh, at least eight hours, uh, if not sooner. Okay. Uh, I would not attempt to call my office hour, office phone, because uh, seldom do I, am I there, especially in the summer. So give me an email and I'll get a hold of you. I already mentioned that there is a textbook that you can get several ways. I'd probably find it online somewhere. Uh, it'd be used, but you'll need the course textbook. And there's some interesting things about the outcomes, which you want to get out of this course. I'll let you look at that, but really the, the idea is to look at the business environment from a customer service perspective and understand how these customer service practices uh, help an organization and make them successful or on the other hand, maybe I'm not successful. There's a bunch of other course outcomes or, and that you can look at here, uh, but you do get a grade in this course. And there are really only three ways that you get points, actually four. I, I do have a extra credit, optional extra credit uh, assignment at the end of the course. But the main three ways that you get graded are online quizzes that you'll take through Blackboard, the ongoing case, which is separated into six separate questions, and discussion boards. But like I said, we're going to go through each one of these here in a moment. All this adds up to a thousand points. And as you can see here, the way the points are distributed, 900 to 1,000 is an A, 800 to 899 is a B, and so on. Now, one of the things that you have to understand about Blackboard is that you will see percentages of uh, points earned versus points uh, attempted. And sometimes you'll get the wrong impression that, for instance, if you have 800 out of 850 points in one particular case, then you're gonna get an A. That is not necessarily the case because it only takes into account what you've tried. Keep it simple, add up your points. Once the semester is done, look at the scale and you will know what grade you're going to get. If there's any questions about that, send me an email, please. Okay, so I'm scrolling down here. It's more about Blackboard. Hopefully you've used Blackboard. If not, it's very simple. I have directions on how to do that. And we're gonna get back into it in a moment. You would have <laughs> gotten into Blackboard or you wouldn't have gotten into this video had you not at least understood how to navigate a little bit about Blackboard. So as I scroll down here, and I'm talking about uh, grades. Usually within a week, I will give you your grades. Now the tests, the quizzes are automatically graded, so you should get immediate feedback on that. Um, but the discussion boards and the BCSS uh, ongoing case questions, I have to grade and give me a week to do it, and then you'll get uh, feedback. Uh, most times I will give you, send you the assignment a document back with with specific feedback uh, other times if you maybe miss a word or something i will not send it back you'll see that in the grade uh, i only send you feedback uh, if you really mess up in other words you didn't understand the questions and what you wrote was just not anywhere near what i wanted and i'm pretty lenient i give you chances to correct yourself all right, keep that in mind. All right. So like I said, you'll have six online quizzes. You'll do that via Blackboard. You'll have a chance to take the test two times with the highest score being um, uh, assigned to your uh, grade book. And the questions are 100% from the text. So if you want to do well in the quizzes, get the book. You'll need the book. Discussions. If you've taken, if you've done any kind of online course, chances are the instructor will have a discussion board as part of the grading criteria. I'm no different. 
Uh, my discussion boards are usually lively. I put in a question, I put in a video, and then I have you respond to it. In addition, you need to respond to two other people. And like I said, we're going to go through that here in Blackboard in a moment. That lets you know this is with a lot of your points, 32 points per discussion board. And what I expect is some good responses to my questions and responses to at least two of your peers. And then if that's the case, you'll get full credit for that particular discussion board. This is the semester lawn. Uh, BCSS building a customer service strategy case which I will go through the first question set in its entirety through the rubric each one of these question sets has a rubric that needs to be followed one problem that I that occurs with people that have taken this course not often but it does happen is that the student will look at the text for the questions. Now, the questions that I put in are similar to the text questions, but not identical. So what you need to do, and I have it capitalized here, the rubric must be followed. The questions that I give you are not the same, and I do not expect you to answer the questions from the book, but from the rubric. You'll see that here in a second as we go through one. Each one of these are 100 points, so there's a lot of things riding on that, okay? All right, so more about that later on. You'll be choosing this organization that's going to run through the thing. And there's some stuff on COVID, even though that's a dead issue, but we have to put it in. And here's your assignment calendar. A separate uh, document for that if you wanted to print it out or whatever. But I, as you can see, I have things in weekly buckets. Sometimes the weeks are too long, week long. Uh, most times they're only a week because this is the summer session and they're only going through this eight weeks. So within each bucket, you have the chapters that are assigned and you have the assignments that are related to those chapters. All right. You have the discussion boards, you have the quizzes, and then you have your BCSS ongoing case question set. All right. Now notice down here, this is the big interview that you're going to conduct. I give you the questions, so that's not an issue, but you just have to, once you've chosen your, chosen your organization, you'll need to make sure that you have someone to speak with in that organization that's willing to answer questions uh, that you give them. And they're not real proprietary questions, they're pretty general, but you need to arrange a time with that person sooner than later so that you can get information from him or her. Now, it could be a face-to-face -face interview. It could be over the phone. It could be simply you giving them the questions, they respond, and then for clarification, you may have to respond back to them. But be courteous of their time. That's extremely important. And that's a, an example of customer service, okay? All right. Notice, though, that everything is due within a certain time frame. In other words, you did. I give you from June 12th to June 26th to complete the discussion board one, quiz one, and the ongoing question, case question set one, all right? Once it's beyond that, then unless it's a emergency, uh, uh, the, the assignment won't count or I'll mark it a little bit late, all right? But always contact me in advance if you're gonna be late. Like I said, I'll work with you. I understand where we're all coming from, okay. Now we're back into Blackboard, and what I like to do is <clears throat> show you a couple of things. The, as you said, the syllabus, the, you're in the announcement section, the in, in, instructor info, just a little uh, thing about me, my CV, resume. Uh, if you want PowerPoints, you can go into course content, and there's a list of PowerPoints here from the text. I already explained the assignment calendar, which you saw at the end of the syllabus. And there's some other things here that uh, you can use that you go through, but those are the most important ones. But probably the most critical one besides the syllabus is the assignment set. And this is where you're gonna go into to choose, or excuse me, to complete things 
uh, or at least get the information for that. So let's get into the first assignment set. You can just simply go into assignment set here, click on it, and then you'll see everything you'll need uh, for that particular assignment set. All right. In other words, what you have here is the discussion board one. You have the place where you're going to deposit or submit, upload your BCSS question set one. You have a rubric for it, which I'll get into in detail. And then last but not least, you have a quiz. And this is where you click on here and just answer the quiz. Uh, most of the quizzes, it's multiple choice, uh, a little bit of true false, and each one is worth a certain amount of points, anywhere between 16 and 20 questions, usually per uh, per quiz. Like I said, there is no time limit. You can take it twice uh, with the highest score counting. All right. Uh, just quickly go into discussion boards. Now, you can go into discussion boards here, or you can go over here to get into the discussion boards. But either way, uh, the discussion boards are available within the same time as the assignment set, in this particular case, uh, between 612 and 626. So they just give me, let's just click on one just for fun. You'll be able to click on this. You'll click on the thread. Then you'll see something from me. Hi, please give a brief introduction of yourself to the group, name, family, work, whatever. Now, please give an example of excellent customer service you received. This could be in person, on the phone, via online. Be as descriptive as you feel necessary to make sure you emphasize why you felt this person, the person's exemplified. Okay, and I gave you, I usually give you an example here. This has to do with uh, my son, Alex, and maps and everything in AAA. But what you need to do is reply to this and then also reply to at least two of your peers. So uh, in this particular case, give me the example, be descriptive as necessary, and why you felt that persons amplified and then respond to two peers. That's basically the way the discussion boards work. Now, sometimes I'll have a video, sometimes I'll have a little bit more, but that's how it works. Respond properly, respond to two peers, you'll get the 32 points. All right, now let's get into this BCSS case. All right, so we're just here. Now, what I'm going to do is switch over to the, the, the rubric that came from this discussion board and go through it. So this is what my rubric looks like. It gives you the specific uh, title of the that you're going to work on. I give you the reference. So these are this is the, the pages that the original questions come from. But again, you have to follow my rubric. And I put it down here in red. Please note you will need to follow the rubric questions as they will often differ from the textbook questions. All right, so you scroll down here and here is your first question. All right. Please provide the following information of your organization of choice. This is where you've chosen that organization, as I uh, brought out earlier. And how I structure my rubrics are as follows. I give you a chance to determine how many points you want. I'm hoping all of you will want to get for the full credit. And for this particular question, full credit means 50 points. If you get set, uh, only produce 75% or 50% or hopefully not 25%, you'll get a proportionally uh, less amount of points. But I give you specifically what I want. So let's kind of focus on this column. So your first question, provide the name and purpose, in other words, what they produce, what they do, service provide, products, Please provide four to six sentences. When I say four to six sentences, that's the minimum, all right? If you want to put in six to eight sentences or, or more than that, it's fine. Don't overwork yourself, but if you don't have at least four sentences, you're going to get dinged. 
provide three external customers and each customer specific needs, provide three internal customers and each customer specific needs. Please bullet point each of your entries. So what I don't want this big one paragraph with a bunch of stuff in it, I want this and then I want uh, bullet points for the three external customers and their needs and bullet points for the three internal customers and their needs. Now, what's next external customer? Well, if you happen to be working for, let's say, Chick-fil-A, the next external customer would be, well, the people that go in and buy the sandwiches or anything you know, other food service. That's the next external customer. What are they looking for? Are they looking for uh, uh, value? Are they looking for maybe a certain amount of time open for lunch? Are they they looking maybe perhaps uh, uh, for uh, catering? Okay, so those are the people you're serving. However, internal customers are the people you're working with. So as a customer service manager, what do some of the people need that work for you? Maybe uh, uh, the person that's uh, cooking the chicken, they need clean utensils, perhaps, uh, good training. Uh, maybe the people that are working outside and serving the customers in the line, if you've ever been to a Chick-fil-A, usually a long line, uh, perhaps they need a certain type of uniform uh, or some sort of uniform allowance. Uh, but anyway, uh, think in terms of what the employees who work for you or work for the organization need, who they are, by the way, and what they need. Bullet point each of these so I can read them. If you don't, you're going to get points taken off. And the second question what are some of the starting points for developing core competencies? Uh, see pages 10 and 11. So if you're in the book, you go to pages 10 and 11, you're going to see a list of core competencies. All right. And this core competencies, in fact, I have them right here. This is one of the PowerPoint slides that are available to you for chapter one. Here are the core competencies on pages 10 to 11. Ability to communicate effectively, acceptance of ownership, responsibility, ability to use empowerment, ability to manage knowledge, share ideas, ability to manage change, predisposition to continuous improvement. All these have a nice description, explanation of what they're about. All right. What you need to do is choose any four of those six customer service core competencies and come up with a one to two sentence for each starting point that helps develop that competency. So of the six I just showed you, pages 10 to 11, from pages 10 to 11 in the book, choose any four if you want maximum points for this particular question. And then tell me what it is. Give me a one to two starting sentence. So I'm going to give you an example here, and I do this for every almost every question. Example, Wendy's Restaurants and Core Competency 3. Okay, so Core Competence 3 is empowerment. This is one of the things that I would write down in order to give those people empowerment. In other words, the ability, the authority, the responsibility to do something. Give store employees the authority to give customers free food as reparation for a mistake in their order. All right, and so I'm sure all of us have been to some sort of restaurant where you ordered a hamburger and they gave you a piece of fish. All right, well, that's not what they ordered. And the good restaurants will correct the immediately and they may either not charge you or give you a discount or say, you know what, next time you come in, here's 10 bucks off on something or here's a free little card for $5. All right, so if that's the case, I have empowered my employees to give customer maybe a free uh, gift card if there's a big, big mistake. Please name the core competencies you've chosen followed by your one or two starting point explanations. Also number each core competency. Okay, so you're gonna tell me core competence three, empowerment. So that way I don't have to, to search, okay? And they're all listed in the textbook with a great explanation. Right, what you do here then is complete this. Make sure you follow the format as I wanted. Submit it via Blackboard. 
and I will give you feedback on this. But the most important thing in this particular assignment is that you've chosen an organization that you are going to stick with the entire semester, all right? This has to be done in this particular assignment, which is due June 26th, okay? All right, well, that is all for this particular video. I provide videos for every ECSS question set. All right, so when you go to your assignment sets and you click on that particular assignment, you'll see a similar video that goes through that particular rubric. Last thing, and again, you need to figure, uh, choose your uh, organization and make sure that you know somebody in the organization that is willing to answer a few questions. Uh, and that has to do with the BCSS uh, ongoing case question set uh, three, okay, which is not due until mid-July, but start thinking about it. If you have any issues, questions, comments, please write me thomas underscore passero at owensdata.edu. That's the best and probably the only best way, only way to reach me this summer. And I think you will enjoy the course. Uh, most people do, almost everyone. So have fun, enjoy your summer, and look forward to hearing from you via the discussion boards and your other assignments.